Hello and welcome back to NBA 2K24. It is almost time to move the calendar over to 2K25, so I want to do one last save. Yeah. 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 And I think I have a bit of a doozy in store for you here. We are going to be giving, as you probably saw from the title and the thumbnail, we're going to be putting Anthony Edwards in Jim Jackson's place. Now, you're probably asking yourself, who is Jim Jackson? Unless, of course, you are a Dallas Mavericks fan and you probably remember the Triple J era. Not Jaron Jackson Jr., but Jim Jackson, Jamal Mashburn, and Jason Kidd. We're going to try to relive that, but we're going to put Anthony Edwards in his place. Of course, as Jim Jackson's career goes on, it doesn't quite stay as rosy in Dallas, so he moves on. He's going to move to a lot of different teams. So we're going to get to see a lot of the 90s and then early early to mid 2000s uh, NBA. So it's going to be a fun one here for Ant to see what he could do. We are going to make one small change. So in his rookie year, Jim Jackson sat out pretty much the entire season. I think he played in like 28 or 30 games because he was holding out for more money in his contract. But instead, I'm going to keep Ant in the starting lineup, let him play the whole year. And uh, things are looking pretty bleak. So this first year might be a little bit of a struggle, but hopefully we can make the necessary steps to turn this team into a title contender very soon. We are here at the end of the year. I'm going to go ahead and let you know we did not make the playoffs, but Edwards is an all-rookie first team. Shaq, of course, wins rookie of the year, but Ant is able to join him, Christian Leitner, Alonzo Mourning, and of course, Damian Murphy here on the list of all-rookie first teamers. Here is the playoff picture. As you can see, we are not involved. Let's go ahead and see which team's going to win these playoffs. I'm going to guess it's going to be the Bulls. They are very good. It is no... <laughs> Okay, the Jazz, Carl Malone and John Stockton grab themselves a title. All right, let's go ahead and hop into year number two. We're going to add Jamal Mashburn to the squad. Welcome to year number two. As you can see, things are looking up very, very slightly. We have Jamal Mashburn. We have Anthony Edwards. We have uh, Greg Dryling uh, down here, 70, 72 overall at 29 years old. So probably not going to get much better. But the team is getting a little bit younger, and hopefully that means good things for us. Of course, next year is the big one when we add Jason Kidd. But maybe we can make like an eight seed or something, or at least like get Anthony Edwards into the superstar status. I can accept that. Let's go ahead and jump to the end of the season and we'll see what happens. And there you go, Anthony Edwards, most improved player, 26.5 points a night, only 31% from the three-point line. We'd like to see that number get up a little bit. Uh, assist numbers could also go up too, but he's looking very good so far. And he's already all the way up to all NBA second team here in his second season. And as you can see, we did not make the playoffs yet again. So let's go ahead and see which team wins this. Can the Bulls make it happen this year? They do. They go over the, uh, was that the Warriors? Who do the Warriors have? Oh, this Warriors team is not bad. Tim Hardaway, Chris Mullen, Victor Alexander. I mean, I don't know. I would have thought there was a better team out there, but what can you do? All right, let's jump into year number three where we add J Kid. The Triple J factor is together. Monster Mash, Jim Jackson, although in this case it's Anthony Edwards. Actually, the Triple J is not real because now it's Anthony Edwards. We got to think of a new acronym. Adj? J Jadj? Jaw, maybe? I, I don't think it's going to work very well. Let's just go ahead and jump into season number three. Welcome to year number three. The trio has finally been assembled and things are looking very good. We got three guys in their 80s, all up and coming. I'm not sure for a playoff team just yet, but definitely give these guys another year or two and we could probably happen. Though, to be fair, we only have another year or two before Anthony Edwards is going to move on. So we got to make something happen quick. Let's jump in and see how it goes. All right, we got a strong start here. Jason Kidd is your rookie of the year, 16. 15, five and seven really more like six six and seven nearly two steals a game as well love the assist numbers that's looking great scoring is okay that it's down jason kidd never been the best scorer of the basketball and with anthony edwards and jamal mash but it's probably worth it for the ball to go to other players all right a little bit of a downgrade here for anthony edwards he's only third team all nba we can really quickly look at his stats this year down to 24 points seven boards two assists so looking about the same the scoring number is going to come down slightly just because the team's getting better but hopefully we can keep this momentum going also, look at Christian Leitner, third team All-NBA. That's what we like to see. But the bad news is we still are unable to make the playoffs. Uh, who's going to win? The Denver Nuggets are the one seed who they have. They got Dikembe, Lafonso Ellis, Reggie Williams, and Mahmoud abdul Rauf. So uh, Sam Cassell as well. What an interesting team. Let's see if they can win a title. Probably not. I'm going to guess it's going to be the Bulls again, but maybe someone can make a run. No, Bulls over Suns. Is that the real life finals? I don't think so. Is this the year Michael Jordan's gone? I don't remember exactly. I can't remember the timeline. Jordan gets himself another finals MVP and another trophy, and we are moving into year number four, where hopefully our trio can come together and turn this thing around. 
because honestly, I could use some game footage. We don't have very much time left, so we have to make the most of it while we can. We got 287 overalls. Jamal Mashburn is lagging behind just slightly at 84. Past those guys, we don't have a ton of weapons, but hopefully it can be enough. Uh, well, I mean, are you a smart guy? Let's go ahead and jump to the end of the year and see if we can finally make the playoffs. We have done it. We are a eight seed, baby. Let's look at our stats real quick. I haven't really been looking at this too much just because I've been trying to keep it moving. Uh, oh boy, okay, 24, 18, 17. This guy, Cootie, Cotty Wolf, 69 overall, averaging 11 points. I think George McLeod, you need to step up your game, my friend, but yeah. Our guys are looking pretty solid, and we have a chance here against the Los Angeles Clippers. Danny Manning, Wayne Bird coming off the bench, Rodney Rogers. Wayne Bird, I act like that's a real player. I'm pretty sure he's fake. You could kind of tell by the tattoos. Apologize, Mr. Bird, if you're real. Ron Harper, Charles Smith. I think we have a legitimate shot here to win this. Let's jump in and see how it goes. Okay, so I was not wrong. We have a legitimate shot to make it out of the first round in our first time in the playoffs of this save. We're going into game number five, which back in the day, you only needed three games to advance. So if we win this, we make it out of the first round for our first time in the playoffs. That would be a great sign. Come on, boys. Yeah, so uh, we are locked in here. Um, I was hoping to get to jump in and get you some footage. But uh, as you can see, <laughs> we got absolutely blasted, lost by almost 50 points, um, almost 50 points. I'll say it once more time, almost 50 points. Can we look at the team comparison? We shot 35%. They shot nearly 60. We're out of this. So let's see who wins the title. And it is the Charlotte Hornets. Grandmama Larry Johnson gets a title. They take down the Chicago Bulls and then they take down the Clippers, get themselves an NBA championship. And the bad news is, as we head into season number five, this is going to be the last time we get to play with the Mavericks because at midseason, we get traded to New Jersey. So say goodbye to Dallas and say hello to uh, the, the Liberty Bell. <laughs> Okay, I've gone ahead and jumped us past to the middle of the season, as you can see here. We are with the Nets, Anthony Edwards up to 90 overall. We also have Kendall Gill, Reggie Williams, Kevin Edwards, uh, Kerry Kittles, Keith, Ga Keith Gatling, Chris Gatling, some other solid players. Is that Chris Mullen? No, Cam Mullen. Excuse me, he's a creative player. Okay, I was wondering why Chris Mullen was 22 and only 72 overall. Okay, so we may actually have a shot at getting back to the playoffs of this new team. I don't really know how they did in real life, but it doesn't matter too much because we're only here for a year. In fact, let me just check real quick. Yeah, we got to get used to this. I don't think we have more than like two seasons with a team for the rest of the save, so we have to get lucky if we're going to get a title out of this. Dallas was our best chance. Unfortunately, the young guns couldn't make it happen quickly, but hopefully we can roll into a good situation let's jump in and see how this year goes all right we're here at the end of the season ant edwards up to a 91 and he's third team all nba averaging at nearly 28 points a night so looking very good for our boy and as you can see we are the number three seed we're going up against the miami heat here and these teams are going to be different because you know because i'm changing the landscape so much i'm just kind of letting the nba go so this team is a little bit weird maybe i'm not quite sure what the real life heat looks like but they do have glenn rice steve smith bimbo cole Isaiah Ryder, not a bad team. I definitely think they have the depth on us, but maybe we have enough star power to get through this. Let's find out. It all comes down to this. We're back into a game five, just like last season. Hopefully this time we have a little bit better outcome. Let's see how it goes. Still no gameplay out of this one, but at least we come out on top. We win this one by 17 points. Anthony Edwards goes off for 30 and 10. Our next round matchup is going to be Boston. And I happen to know that, like I said, Things get a little bit weird. Boston has Allen Iverson and Kobe Bryant. So um, this one's going to be tough. <laughs> but all we can do is hop in and hope for the best. We have actually run this out to a 3-1 series lead. Let's see if we can close it out and make it to the Eastern Conference Finals for the first time in this save. All right, here we go. We are up by seven here with 145 left to go. AI has dropped a 40 piece on us, but otherwise we are doing very good. Uh, Kendall Gill is our leading scorer, 32 points. Can AI get another score here? He misses that one, gets his own rebound. Huge block, huge, huge block. Who is that number 53? I think this is a created guy. I could be wrong. I can't see his num name, but number 53 with an emphatic rejection on AI. Uh, apologies for AI having the incorrect number, but again, I am not controlling the computer. I'm just letting them go because if I had to control everything, it would take way too long to record this video. And we don't have very much time until the uh, the next season is out, the next season, the next 
iteration of 2K is out. Sean Bradley, didn't realize he was here, but gets it into AI. AI is going to work. Great little move there. Gets himself wide open, but misses the shot. They are struggling here. Oh, that's Joe Klein. Who? Oh! Number 53 is Joe Klein. He is a legendary player, I believe, for UNC. He was a McDonald's All-American. That's why I know him. Uh, I don't really know if he's... I, legendary is probably putting it a little too strong. Anthony Edwards gets open, doesn't go for it. Gets it over to Klein. Klein is tired. Can he make something about Sean Bradley? No. Gets it back out to Anthony Edwards. 2-1. Puts it up. Misses the shot. Kevin McHale playing with Kobe Bryant. Allen Iverson is so weird. Gets the ball up to Bryant. Bryant over to Finley. Not Michael Finley. Some other Finley. Uh, makes the shot. And that makes it a five-point ball game with just under a minute left to go. Anthony Edwards with the ball. Going to try and shake and bake, get around Kobe. Kobe is a great defender. He hasn't been playing super well tonight. Oh, <laughs> speaking of, Kobe has not been scoring well. I think he has like, uh, I mean, I want to say he has like 12 points tonight. He's not looking great. Allen Iverson, though, is looking great. Gets it over to Kobe. Kobe puts that one up and in, keeps it within reach. Five-point game. They're going to start pressing. Maybe foul. They do foul. Anthony Edwards to the line. Kobe Bryant, no, not to the line. Excuse me. They have a foul to give, which is bad news for us because that means we're going to go to Kevin Edwards and uh, he will probably be the one taking the foul shots, which could be okay. No, they're going to get it. Oh, nope. To Kevin. They're not gonna get, are they going to foul? Are they going to foul? No, they're going to get it over to Edwards and now they foul. Okay, that's weird. Is Edwards a bad free throw shooter? Am I misremembering who is good at shooting free throws? Anthony Edwards, 24 points tonight. He misses his first free throw. He's an 89% free throw shooter though, so... The odds are ever in our favor, and he makes that one. It is a six-point ball game, 34 seconds on the clock. What are the Celtics going to do? Can we win this and get back to the Western Conference Finals? Eastern Conference Finals, not back to for the first time. I am tripping all over my words, and AI misses again. Their offense has gone completely off the radar here at the end of the game. Anthony Edwards back to try and ice this one. If he makes these, this pregame has got to be over. Makes the first. It's a seven-point game. So we're down to, we're up to three possessions now. Going to be very tough for them to get back in this one. They have uh, 23 seconds to score eight points. Can they do it coming out of this timeout? All right, we just got to play decent defense here. Force them to waste some time on the clock. And the CPU loves to take their time. They never shoot quick, which is good for us. Over to Reggie Lewis. Over to AI. Doesn't shoot to McHale. McHale is going to pull from three. Kevin McHale is who you're going to go with there at the end. The New Jersey Nets deservedly win this series, and we will be moving on. Let's go see who we're facing. Unfortunately, things do not get any easier here in the Eastern Conference Finals because we're going up against the Shaq Attack and the rest of his merry men. Scott Skiles, Nick Anderson, Dennis Scott are all there. Shaq is 94 overall, and uh, I just really don't think Joe Klein... All the respect in the world to my man, but I don't think Joe Klein is going to be able to stand up to Shaq Daddy. And, I mean... Jason Williams is our backup center. Probably not going to work very well. Cam Mullen, maybe. Tony Massenberg's decently sized. I mean, we got some guys, but I just... Big X-Man. Can X-Man dust off the uh, <laughs> the shoes and come play for us? I don't think he's played in a game this entire year. He's 68 overall, 33 years old. Probably doesn't have a chance, but let's hop in and see how this goes. We are up 3-1 to one here. Can we finish this off? Let's see. We are locked into a tight one here in Orlando. We are up by one. We or No, we're down by one, excuse me, but we are up 3-1 to one in the series. Gets it over to Gil. Gil gets it into Williams. Reggie Williams up and in and puts us back up by one i did think i saw that anthony edwards might be injured which is not great news moving forward but hopefully we could just finish it off here in orlando and make it all the way to the finals over to skiles skiles looking for shack you got to go into shack daddy as much as possible joe klein cannot contain this man brings the down screen over to morris morris does not get into him we're gonna go pick and roll here morris looking looking makes a move Gets it up and over and puts his team back up by one with 118 left on the clock. Edwards is hurt slightly. Wait, this is Kevin Edwards. Where is, um, where, wait, whoa, whoa, hold on. Is he fouled out? Uh, is he, oh my gosh, Kendall Gill on a 40 piece tonight, ladies and gentlemen. He is him. And Anthony Edwards is injured. Ant has not even played in this game and somehow we're still in it. Oh no. Okay, we'll have to check that out because that is a very bad for us moving forward. We have to win this game. Williams up and in over Shaq Daddy. What a shot by Reggie Williams. Making it happen up by one, 107 left on the clock. Scott Skiles going to look to make it work. Dennis Scott with the ball. Scott Skiles, Dennis Scott, tough to say. 
Here we go. Dennis Scott looking for something. Doesn't get it out. Does get it out of Scott Skiles. He had a wide open shot there, but didn't take it. Uh, here we go. Scott Skiles looking for some screening help. Is he going to get it? They almost throw a double. Mor Norris. Morris, excuse me, gets the ball. Nice little lay in. And there it is. Easy as you like. The Orlando Magic back up by one. 40 seconds left to go. We have no Anthony Edwards. We're missing our big dog. Hopefully Kevin Edwards, the little dog, can make something happen. Reggie Williams. Oh, I wish he was a three-point shooter because that was a wide open lane. A lane and a shot, but he makes that one. Can we finish this one without Ant? I'm a little flustered, as you could tell, but hopefully we can make it work. All right, now remember, even if we lose this, they still have to win two more games. So if we have to rest Ant for a couple games, one more game, not a couple games. If we rest for a couple games, we're in big trouble. But we got to hope that he's not hurt too badly. Dennis Scott tries to drive by his man, can't make it work. Shaq brings the screen, gets a screen, doesn't get it into him. Joe Klein, for what it's worth, me disparaging him, playing good defense, gets a big rebound there. And Edwards is going to go to the line. They might have a foul to give, actually. Let's see they do not he will be going to the line kevin edwards only four points tonight <laughs> can't make it five all right come on put us up by two here this is huge kevin there we go kevin makes it a two-point game 13 seconds on the clock they're not going to call a timeout they're going to roll with it they're going to go for the last shot here they're going to try to tie this up not the move i would make i would be trying to move quickly so worst case you get two chances at the oh my god no way <laughs> No way! Dennis Scott, Dagger Scott with the shot. 2.2 seconds left on the clock. He finishes us off here in Orlando. No pause. We are going to go have to go into a game number six to see if we can finish this team out. And we may not have Anthony Edwards. That was massive. Massive from Dennis Scott. Holy cow. And there is the news we didn't want to see. Anthony Edwards is out for one to two weeks with a broken left toe. So we have lost our guy in pretty much the biggest moment. We also have lost, we go down here, Kerry Kittles is out for the season with a broken left ankle. So unfortunately, I think our run is going to end here. I will still keep you with me just to see what happens. Okay, they tie it back up in game six. We lose game seven, unfortunately. Can they beat the Supersonics? No, we probably were not going to beat the Sonics anyways because they have KG and a couple of other guys, right? Uh, let me see real quick. Yeah, they got KG, Gary Payton. <laughs> unfortunately, we couldn't make it work there. We had a very good shot, but Anthony Edwards gets hurt at a very inopportune time. And that ends our time in New Jersey. As we head into the next season, we will be joining Allen Iverson. He'll be moving from the Celtics back to the 76ers because it's time for us to head to Philly. We are here in Philly and things are very exciting for us because Anthony Edwards has joined Allen Iverson, Joe Cole, Who? and Derek Coleman. Now this team looks like they could be very good for years to come. Unfortunately, on the Jim Jackson timeline, we actually don't even stay here for a full year, but I wanted to give you a tease of what could have been. Now we'll go ahead and jump to the middle of the year when Edwards is going to join Golden State. And welcome back. We are now with the Golden State Warriors. As you can see, the team is not quite as exciting. Bimbo Coles is our second best player. Uh, we also have Danielle Marshall and Muggsy Bogue. So a very small team. I mean, Dan Pierce here. Let's see what their record looks like. I actually didn't check this when I traded them over. We are the eighth seed right now. So technically could make the playoffs. As you can see, the 76ers were the best team in the league until Ant left them. Hopefully we can hold on to this playoff spot. Let's jump to the end of the year and see how it goes. Okay, Ant makes second team all NBA. As you can see, here's his stats last year. Pretty similar to what he did the year before but the good news is that he did bring golden state all the way up to the three seed so we're going to be going up against the denver nuggets who really i mean they have Dikembe matumbo they have some guys but they really just don't have anybody with the star power of anthony edwards i want to learn how to talk like that but these 2k saves are always weird so let's hop in and see if we can win this series all right it has come down to game number five let's see if anthony edwards can finish it out or if we're out in the first round this one was actually pretty close and then here at the end we just completely ran away with it we're going to win by quite a bit but as you can see it was pretty tight through the third quarter and then we just outscored them quite a bit there in the fourth we're going to move on let's see who we're going to play it's going to be the dallas mavericks now they have jason kidd jamal mashburn ben baker i think this is probably going to be where our run ends but again you never know with 2K. We are actually in the driver's seat here in game six. Let's see if we can finish it out. 144 left to go here in game number six. We are down by two, but Anthony Edwards is sitting on a 50 piece. He has 47 points. Latrell Sprewell gets free there. Makes no, does not make that shot. Okay, they did get the coverage back over, so it wasn't quite wide open, but would have loved to see Latrell hit that shot. Now Jason Kidd goes to work, gets right at his guy, misses the shot. <laughs> 
I mean, that was a pretty easy layup, it felt like, but whatever, we could do it. Come on, Anthony Edwards. Oh boy. Oh, he had a lane. He takes it. He misses. Oh man, no one can make a shot right now. Wow. I thought Anthony Edwards was going to jam on that guy, but he does not. Brown with the ball. Not sure if that's D Brown. It is A Brown. Uh, Jason Kidd has it, gets it in to Danny Ferry. Danny Ferry goes to work on Latrell Sprewell, has a side advantage, a side advantage, a size advantage, but does not take advantage of it. Tony Delk back with the ball. Here we go. We got to make something happen. Dampier to Edwards. Edwards gets a mismatch. Not really a mismatch. Gets it over to Dampier. Back to Sprewell. Sprewell looks, looks, gets it over to Edwards. Edwards past Baker. Can't quite get around him. Gets around him there. Makes a little hook shot. No, does not make the hook shot. Was 100% mothered, apparently. Whatever. Uh, Jason Kidd with the ball. Looking for something. Tries to go around Delk. Oh, oh, oh. He's, oh, what were you doing, Dampier? Dampier gets completely lost. The motion of Jason Kidd's ocean throws Dampier off, and we are down by four. Anthony Edwards is going to make something happen. Gets it to Latrell. Sprewell picks, pops, doesn't hit it. Didn't really pick or pop, but he definitely missed the shot. And now Danny Ferry is potentially going to the line. Yes, Danny Ferry at the line. I'm not sure if he's a very good free throw shooter. 82%, so he might miss this one. We may have a chance, but 27 seconds left to go. It looks like they've probably forced a game seven. They've almost certainly forced a game seven, which is very bad news for us because it means we have to head into Dallas to beat Jason Kidd and these Mavericks, which is going to be a tough test for us. We got another good one on our hands, ladies and gentlemen. Golden State up by five here in Dallas. Anthony Edwards, 31 points. He is absolutely carrying this team right now. Jason Kidd goes to work at Tony Delk. Can't make anything happen there. What's he going to do? Let's see. Just going to run out the shot clock, apparently. Not the smartest move here from Kidd. He's just going to keep pushing, pushing. Gets it over to Mashburn. What's Monster Mash going to do? He's going to hold it and jack up a triple here with two seconds left on the clock. Not the best possession there for the uh, Dallas Mavericks, but we will take it because we need everything we can get to make sure we get past this team. Anthony Edwards with the ball. Gets it over to Delk. Don't shoot now. Just hold it. Waste some time. We don't need a quick shot. Delk puts it up. Still 10 seconds left, but I guess if he makes it, it doesn't really matter. Seven point game, 57 seconds left to go. We are probably out of this one with a victory. Look at that Vin Baker stat line, 24 points, 17 rebounds. Huge stat line in the loss from Vin Baker. Jason Kidd continues to go to work. Uh, not really very successful for them. They also have another Baker. They have a Vin Baker and a C Baker. C Baker makes a shot. Not, I'm not sure if he's a real player. He might be. Apologies if you are, Mr. Baker. Gets it into Delk. Delk's going to drive past this guy. Are they going to foul? No, they're not going to foul. They're just going to let this run out, I guess. Oh, no, there's a foul. Okay, finally. Tony Delk going to the free throw line. Going to try to ice this thing. He's shooting 60% from the field tonight, so he's playing well. Makes his first. Can he make it his second? Can he make his second? He does. It is a seven-point game still. 35 seconds left on the clock. Jason Kidd got to work some magic. The bad news here is that Jason Kidd, not much of an outside shooter, and he gets... Oh, my God. Wait, what is that? Is that going to be a jump ball? A jump ball, or is that a foul? Is that a real foul? Please don't be a foul. Okay, it's a jump ball. Jason Kidd has a bit of a, a mental lapse there, which is rare for Kidd, and gives it away. And oh my God, Anthony Edwards puts the exclamation point on this one, throws it all over Ben Baker's head, and that is going to be your ball game, ladies and gentlemen. We have made it to the Western Conference Finals. I will see you there. On the surface, it looks like we get a little bit of help by Seattle being the team that comes out of the other side, but they might be the four seed. They are very, very good. They have Kevin Garnett, Terry Mills, uh, Gary Payton. So this team is looking absolutely deadly. Going to be a tough one for us. Let's hop in and see how we do. We pick up a single victory, but aren't really able to make much of an impact. Let's go ahead and see who wins the title this season. And those Seattle Supersonics have finished the job. They are your NBA champions over the Heat in, I believe, six games. KG averages 32 points for the series. Yeah, they go over the Heat. That's all for this season. I will see you in the next one. We are officially in Portland. Anthony Edwards is a trailblazer, and things are actually looking pretty solid. Now, if you remember your NBA history, this trailblazer team was actually pretty good. I think they won like 35 games. But there was a lockout that year, so that's actually relatively impressive because of their winning percentage. Now they've added Anthony Edwards to this team. Now, I did go ahead and import uh, Sabonis and Wallace because neither of them are in the game. But these are, like, relatively close. They're not exactly perfect, but, you know, what is in 2K? So the team is looking solid. We got Sabonis, Ryder, 
Wallace, a young Jermaine O'Neal, Damon Stoudemire, and then a ton of old veterans. I think this team is like relatively easily going to make the playoffs and could potentially make a pretty deep run, but that is just on paper. So let's go ahead and hop into the season and see what we do. We are here at the end of the season and Edwards has taken another step up. He is all NBA first team and averaging 31.5 points a night. Now the rest of the stats are pretty much the exact same as they have been, but look at this three point percentage, 47.5 from three. My man has become a marksman with all of these big guys around him. He has entered the scoring vortex. And we are the number one seed, but we're going up against a relatively tough squad. They have David Robinson, Antoine, rookie Antoine Jameson, Michael Williams, Sean Elliott. This team is not bad by any means, but I think we probably have the horses to get past them. Let's jump in and see. Yeah, we make it on four. We have to go up against last year's nemesis, the Seattle Supersonics. They're the four seed once again. Remember, they won the title from this spot last year, and this team is still looking very good. Gary Payton's down a little bit, uh, but Terry Mills, KG, continue to grow into their roles. So this is going to be a tough out. Let's hop in. We do hold the advantage going into game six. Let's see if we can finish this. We actually led for much of this game, but Seattle has stormed back here at home. Anthony Edwards has 36 points. KG has like 23 and 18 dominant performances from these stars. Let's see if we can get this one and finish it out with a victory. Sabonis going to work in the post. He's got a big height advantage here. Cannot make the shot, but he gets his own rebound and throws it down over his guy. They really got to switch KG over there. Drew is not <laughs> going to cut the mustard, I don't think. Porter is a little injured, which I guess is good. You know we're going to root for, root for an injury, but we'll definitely take it at this point. Tie ball game, 35 seconds on the clock. Porter goes to work, puts it up, misses that shot. Who is that? Isaiah Ryder gets the board, gets it over to Edwards. Edwards thinks about it. He's going to go to work, tries to get by his guy. KG's there, slows him down just enough. Looking, looking, puts it up and out and... What was that? Oh, it's a timeout. Okay, we're going to a timeout. Excuse me. Didn't know what happened. Thought it was a foul. They are going to have the ball with 19 seconds left to go. They're probably going to hold it for the final shot. I will see you coming out of the timeout. Okay, uh, uh, here we are. I'm a little bit thrown off because at the timeout, they th showed the Thunder Dancers, which was a weird one. But Gary Payton is just going to hold this ball for the last shot. They are going to try to send this one, send it back to Portland for game seven. Here we go. Gets it into KG, being guarded by Sabonis. Got a little bit of a height mismatch, but KG buries the shot. The turnaround, the classic KG turnaround jumper goes in. Oh my God. Okay. Whew. We are going to have a shot though. There's 2.1 seconds left on the clock. Can it, they're, they're the Thunder uh, the thunder cheerleaders. You saw them. I'm not lying. Let's see what the boys draw up. Come on, Ant. Make this shot. Okay. It's going to go into, okay. Nope, it's going to go into Anthony. Greg Anthony jacks it up and misses. And we are going to game seven. Terrible shot there at the end. You got to get it to your superstar. The Sonics did just that. KG sends us over back to Portland. I'll see you there. Okay, my apologies. I looked down because I got a text message and I missed us simming past the game. We did win it. Uh, we can look at the box score real quick. We won. I think it was pretty handily. Yeah, uh, five points. So decent game there from all our guys. KG had a monster game as usual, but now we're going up against the Denver Nuggets here. A team I believe we played last year. They don't look much better. In fact, I think the Kimbe is worse. So this should definitely be a victory series for us and get us into the NBA finals for, I think the first time, although I could be misremembering. It's been a bit since I recorded the first set of videos. Let's jump into this one and see how we do. Yeah, no surprise. We sweep the Nuggets, but now we got to go up against our old team, the 76ers. And this squad has added Tim Duncan. So Mark Price, Allen Iverson, Tim Duncan, Joe Smith, looking very good. Derek Coleman also here as well. This is going to be a tough one to win, but let's see if we could do it. Let's get All right, I was a little slow on the draw once again, but as you can see, we have won a title. Sabonis is the finals MVP. I mean, 18 points, 11 boards, seven assists, and 2.3 blocks. He deserves it. Also, 100% from three. I'm sure I only took like one of them, but we sweep the 76ers. Anthony Edwards is now an NBA champion. Honestly, a few years before I thought he'd get one because we're going to have some really good years coming up. Let's go ahead and jump to the next season. We're going to join the Atlanta Hawks. We are here in Atlanta, and unfortunately, things look pretty dire. I think if that's an Atlanta Hawks fan, that's not too surprising. This team won like 20-ish games both years that Jim Jackson was here. So spoiler alert, we are going to be with the Hawks for two seasons. We do have Matumbo, but he's 33 years old. He's falling off a cliff. 
Uh, Lafonso Ellis is decent. Bimbo Coles is coming along with us. But really, we're just hoping that Anthony Edwards continues to ascend, maybe picks up a couple MVPs playing on a bad team, and then we can move on to greener pastures. Let's go ahead and hop in. You can go ahead and change my name to Nostradamus because there you go. Anthony Edwards averages 37. Let me repeat that. 37 points a night on this terrible Hawks team to win himself the MVP, just as I predicted. But here is what I did not predict. He has drug his team all the way to the one seed, and they're going to be going up against these Boston Celtics who avert your eyes, Lakers fans. I don't know if we've gone over this before, but Kobe Bryant is a Laker. He's 94 overall. He's playing alongside such luminaries as uh, Howard Isley, Gabriel Finley, and then the real people, Kevin McHale, Sean Bradley, Reggie Lewis, and this save is still with us. That is good to see. Wish that would have happened in real life. Wayman Tisdale is still in the league. Okay, sure. This team is going to be an interesting out for us. I think they probably have, mm, I don't know, we got, it's going to be close. This one's going to be close, closer than I thought it would be at the start of the season. Let's hop in and see how we do. All right, we actually make it through there relatively easily, 3-1 series. Now we're moving on to play the Magic, and they, of course, have Shaq Daddy, Dennis Scott, Nick Anderson, Scott Skiles, all the stars are here. This one is going to be a bit tougher, I think, because we just don't have... I mean, look, Dikembe is good, but he's old. Greg Ostertag is uh, not going to cut it as the backup. I just think Shaq is going to have his way with us. Don't pause on that one, and uh, we might be in trouble here, but let's hop in. All right, I guess we have to drop that Nostradamus name right away because we sweep the magic. We're going up against the Washington Wizards here. This team is pretty bad to be honest. I mean, like, Allen Houston, is anyone hurt? They don't look very good. They got skipped to my Lou, uh, but they don't have anybody really. This one should be pretty easy. I think we're going to be back in the finals for the second straight season. All right, we are actually locked up in a tight one here. It is game seven back in Atlanta. Let's see if we can finish this out and go face the Dallas Mavericks in the NBA finals. All right, I'm really not sure how in the world this team won three games off of us because we beat them by nearly 30 points here in game number seven. Anthony Edwards has 30 points of his own. Uh, and then, uh, I mean, we're just destroying these guys. They don't have any chance. Shout out to Skip to my Lou getting 11 points and four assists. But uh, yeah, we absolutely demolished the Wizards. We're here against the Mavs. We've seen this team before. Jamal Mashburn's getting better. Jason Kidd is about the same. They still have Vin Baker, Glenn Robinson, but they haven't added anybody huge, I don't think. My boy, the Alphabet is here though, which is great to see. Um, all right, let's go ahead and jump in, see if we can win our second straight NBA Finals. Yeah, buddy! Hey, wait! We win in game number, I think six by 20 points, so I didn't hop you in. Jason Terry has a huge game for us there. Anthony Edwards is your Finals MVP, averages a absolutely absurd 41.5 points a night, just demolishing, just owning these Dallas Mavericks. We have won our second straight title. Did not think we would win one here. Anthony Edwards is starting to make a case for one of the best players to ever live, which I did not think would happen in this save. I thought he'd be very good, but man, is he really turning it on. Remember, in real life, this team finished in 13th place in the Western Conference, and he just led them to an NBA Finals win, so that is huge. All right, I made a miscalculation. Jim Jackson only played one full season with Atlanta. He actually got traded mid-season to another team, which we'll get to in a second, because he was upset at how few games the team was winning. Now, of course, in our save, we're winning plenty of games, Jim. Anthony Edwards has taken the same team you did all the way to the promised land, but unfortunately, we are going to get traded pretty early into this season, so we're not really going to bother looking at this team. In fact, I barely even put them together. Let's go ahead and jump forward to the next team we're joining, which is going to be the Cleveland Cavaliers. What's so good about Cleveland? So we have officially joined the Cleveland Cavaliers. The team is looking okay. We got Bimbo still with us. Elgauskas is here. Professor Andre Miller is here as well. Let's go ahead and see what the team record is. We're in January, so there's still plenty of time for us to turn things around if we need to. We're in the Eastern Conference. Hello. And the Cavs are, where, wait, oh, the Cavs are the 13th seed. They're 10 and 8. Anthony Edwards is going to have to turn this team around quick. Let's see if he can do it. All right, with all the turmoil, Ant does fall off a little bit. He's second team all NBA, only averages 30.5 points a game. So not quite up to the heights of his 37 a game last year, but still looking okay. Did the team make the playoffs is the question. I think the answer is probably no. Yeah, we did not make the playoffs. That's not a surprise. I think we got ourselves up to like the ninth seed. So 
not terrible, but not the best. We are, oh no, we did not. Uh, we are the, <laughs> we're the 12 seed, 40 and 42, did not finish better than the Hawks. But remember this team was 10 and 18 when we joined it, so I think that's pretty decent of a turnaround. Luckily, next year, we don't have to worry about joining a team in the middle of the season. Let's go ahead and see which team wins this year's NBA Finals, and then we'll get to our next squad. It is the Minnesota Timberwolves. Peja Stojakovic is your finals MVP over the Boston Celtics. Let's jump to the start of the 2001-2002 season. We have seen Anthony Edwards perform exceptionally with really bad teams, but now he's on a team with at least one other superstar and several like very good other players. We have joined the Miami Heat, which means we have Alonzo Mourning, Eddie Jones, Lafonso Ellis, Kendall Gill, and then a bunch of other guys to just fill this thing out, but it's really focused on this top five. I think this team could be very good. Let's jump in and see. Edwards had a bit of a down year this season because he missed a handful of games due to injury. I mean, he still averages 28 points a night, right? But when you're playing alongside guys who can score, you're always going to lose some points. But him getting injured didn't hurt us too bad. We're still the two seed going up against our old team, the Atlanta Hawks. They have Dirk now, so that could be a little bit of a problem, but I think we probably have this one. Let's jump in and see if I'm right. Yeah, the Hawks put up almost no resistance. Now we got to go up against this New York Nets team. They have Mike Bibby, they have Steve Smith, Lamar Odom, and maybe the oldest looking Dikembe Mutombo. It looks like they're stuck. I mean, I think that's his ear, but it almost looks like that he has like a growth coming off of the side of his face. I don't want to make fun of you, Mr. Mutombo. I know you don't actually look like that. It's just the game, but you look incredibly old. Like this could be an 85 year old man standing here. Kerry Kittles and uh, Louis Sims as well. This could be a little bit tougher, but I still think we get out of this one pretty easily. Yeah, they had absolutely no shot against us, but here is where things get a little bit more interesting because the Raptors have T-Mac playing point guard, which is on its own wild. And then they have Rip Hamilton, Paul Pierce, Daniel Marshall. Their big's not quite as good, so that will hopefully mean that Alonzo Mourning gets to feast. But yeah, Anthony Edwards might have some trouble out here on the wing. They have a plethora of guys to throw at him. This one could get tough. Let's jump in and see if we can make it back to the finals. We are down three to two here heading into game number six. Hopefully we can claw one back, send it back to Toronto for game seven. Edwards has had himself a disaster class. 11 points, 0 for 5 from three, and he has fouled out of the ball game. But Miami is still up by three, largely behind Eddie Jones coming alive. Let's see if we can hold on here. Rod Strickland with the ball. Going to try to go at T-Mac, which is probably not a great idea, especially when you're tired. Almost gets the ball ripped. Looking for somebody, gets to get it out to Toscano. Excuse me, I stuttered there. And uh, he misses that shot. Paul Pierce with the rebound. 115 left on the clock. Look at Brand. Look at Brand. Oh, don't look at Brand. We don't want him to get there, but he does get it there. Makes an easy dunk. It's a one point game. 110 left on the clock. This is a must win game for us. We could use a sub for Strickland right now. He is gassed. And going up against Tracy McGrady is not going to make that much better. Oh, what a rejection. Oh my gosh. Brand having the moment of his life right now. And uh, Paul Pierce cannot put his team up by one, but he does go to the line with the chance to do it right here. The hard way. Here we go. First shot is up. That is a make. Okay. I just saw Paul Pierce shooting 67% from the field tonight. My man is having himself a day. Can he make it 23 points? He does. And they are now up by one with 55 seconds on the clock. We are missing our best player. He is fouled out of the game. You could see him sitting there on the sidelines, not even standing up with the rest of the team. He's so pissed. Hopefully we can get that lead back when we come out of this timeout. Here we go. In usual times, I would say that we want to feed the ball to Alonzo Mourning. He has a huge advantage in terms of overall, but uh, Mr. Brand just rejected him with some filth. He put some extra sauce on that. We are going to try to go to Mourning again. Turns around, hits the J, does not hit it. Man. I thought he had that. Okay, Tracy McGrady with the ball. T-Mac, oh, what a move. T-Mac gets right up around him and makes a shot and puts his team up by three. 39 seconds left. I think this one might be over. We are going to bomb out of the playoffs here. Unfortunately, we lost Edwards a little early. He had a bad game. And Alonzo Mourning is getting worked by this created player. Brand is having himself a night up to T-Mac. That's a dunk. That's the game, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. We'll see who wins a title. And then we will jump into the next season. Well, that was just as bad as Kazam. And the Raptors go on to sweep the Utah Jazz. T-Mac, the point guard, 
is your finals MVP. What a series by him. What a season by him. And this season is now over. I'm going to go ahead and jump us forward where we will be joining the Kings to start the 0203 season. Well, if you thought last year's team was a little bit unfairly stacked, yeah, this is not going to change your mind much. This team is absolutely loaded. We got Ant, of course. We got Chris Weber, Mike Bibby, Peja, Hito, Vlade Divac, Doug Christie, Scott Pollard, uh, Survivor Zone, Scott Pollard, Bobby Jackson, Gerald Wallace, the list goes, actually it stops there, but this team is going to be very tough to beat. I'm hoping that Anthony Edwards, he's gone down from 95 overall. He's probably not going to hit those same scoring highs he hit a couple years ago when he won MVP, but the hope is that we can get back to winning a title. Let's see what happens. Like I said, when you play with this many good players, you're always going to expect a little bit of a regression. So we're down to only 20 points a game, seven rebounds, not too terrible. We didn't make any of the All-NBA list. I think Chris Webber made like All-NBA third team, but just not a ton of guys making a big impact because we have so many players playing well. I mean, we have five guys averaging more than 18 points a game. That is is wild. Actually, I think Turkaloo did win six man of the year, so someone's winning awards, but it's just because this team is so very, very good. And with that in mind, it's no surprise to see that we are the number one seed. We're going up against this Spurs team who is, you know, they're solid. David Robinson getting old. I don't think we'll have too much to worry about against this team. Let's hop in and see if I'm right. Okay, the Spurs actually make it a little bit scary. It's so scary that I accidentally simmed the first game here of round number two. We're going up against the Clippers. Uh, again, not a team that's probably going to cause us too much trouble. I mean, Uncle Haslam is there, but otherwise I'm not too concerned. I think we're going to win this one pretty easily. Let's see. The Clippers go away with a whimper. Now we're up against Dallas. And this team is also not that great. I mean, Jamal Mashburn is their best player. It looks like J-Kid has moved on or is injured potentially. No, he's moved on. So I think this is going to be another easy series. The Mavs make it interesting. They do win two games, but we make it through. And now we got to face New York. And here is why I'm scared. Because we know that Toronto Raptors team has Tracy McGrady and Paul Pierce. And the Knicks, they swept them. I have no idea who's on this team. Let's check. They have Baron Davis, Kenyon Martin, and... Nobody else. So maybe, the, oh, Keith Van Horn is also on this team, but is injured. Okay, so that makes a little bit more sense, but still, this Toronto team is nasty. <laughs> they have three guys in the 90s, and somehow they lost here in the Eastern Conference Finals, so we dodged a bullet. I mean, granted, like, their four best players are all guards or wings, so they don't have a ton of size, but still, that didn't hurt them much last year. Hopefully, we don't fall victim to the Knicks, but all we can do is see. It all comes down to this. We're in Game 7. I think this is probably going to be in Sacramento. Let's see if we can finish this out and win ourselves another title. Jumping into this one with 90 seconds left, I think we're going to hold on to win this one. We're up by 7 with 123 left on the clock. Both Anthony Edwards and Chris Webber having solid games. I think they both got 20 points, although Webber is not in the game right now, but we have so many good players, I don't know if it matters. Uh, let's see what happens. Baron Davis tries to go to work. If we can hold them here, we might. We're probably going to finish this one off. Yeah, there we go. Anthony Edwards with the rebound. They're not going to foul here, which is kind of a surprise. They do have Tyson Chandler. I don't think I noticed that earlier. He's a very good player. Anthony Edwards not going to pull. Could have, but decides not to. Smart to waste some clock. Doug Christie with the ball gets it to Bibby. Bibby goes right by his guy and puts it up and over. Chandler does not make it. Thought he had a very easy lay in there, but it does not happen. Ross with the ball. Does a look inside to Baron Davis, who maybe he should have. Over to Van Horn. Van Horn pulls and he hits that. It's that Kapuya! Kapuya! That makes it a four-point game with 40 seconds left. It's not quite over yet, folks. We still got to play well here. Mike Bibby tries to bring the ball down the court. Gets past his man. Oh, he had Doug Christie wide open. And does that look... Yeah, Hito is going to the line, potentially. I don't know if that was a foul. Yes, they didn't have a foul to give. Okay, so Hito at the line. He has 12 points tonight, 45% shooting. Let's see how he does here on his free throws. Makes the first one. This is the reigning sixth man of the year at the line. So that's good for us. I believe Chris Weber just checked into the game. Love these old King jerseys. I don't love their away jerseys, but the home ones are pretty solid. I wish we could wear the black jerseys. They might be in the game, but um, unfortunately our team has not been wearing them when I've been watching. Uh, we are up by six with 34 seconds left on the clock. Scott Pollard giving the high fives to everybody. That lady's, <laughs> her thighs are glitching out of her shorts, uh, but we're going to go ahead and get past that and jump past that timeout. See if the Knicks can do anything here with 90 seconds on the clock. Chandler to inbound. He probably got to get into Van Horn right now. Van Horn has the hot hand. He's a good shooter. Over to Edney, back over to Mustaf. Apologies if I mispronounce any of these names. I'm not sure if any of these guys are even real, but Mustaf does make it. Makes it a four-point game. 28 seconds left on the clock. Anthony Edwards with the ball. He'll be going to the line. 56% shooting today, so he's having a good night. He's a 95% free throw shooter. 
So we'll keep taking that. Come on, make this one too. There we go. Okay. Six points, 27 seconds. They got to start making some threes here if they want to have a chance, but... All right, here we go. Just mostly at this point, I just want to keep the ball not out of Keith Van Horn's hands, but don't give him an open look because my man can shoot the lights out of that ball if he gets it. Chandler to Davis. Davis gets a screen. Got to pull. Got to go do something. Come on. Over to Keith Van Horn. That's what I don't want to see. And he misses the shot. Wow. He had a, he, That was a good look. That was about the best look you can expect in a situation like this. Chris Weber to the line. Going to try to put this one away. Win us a title. Come on, C-Webb. No chance he's going to call a phantom timeout here. We don't have to worry about that uh, as much as C-Webb kind of fell away in clutch situations during his career. He does not fall away from the moment right there. C-Webb knocks them both down. We have an eight-point lead with 15 seconds left to go, and we, I believe, have just won Anthony Edwards, another NBA title. This is also, uh, if you're a Kings fan, I guess, it's a little bit of payback for the refs. Um, you know, having some questionable calls against you in that Lakers series back in the day, Keith Van Horn continues to knock shots down but I think it's going to be a too little too late. They're probably going to keep fouling, I guess. Keith Van Hearn has 38 points and 10 rebounds. What a game. Okay, they're going to keep sending us to the line. I want to just see the trophy celebration since we're here, but they're not going to let me get through it quick. The Knicks want to stretch this one out as long as possible. I don't think Thibodeau is coaching at this point, <laughs> but, he, but uh, if he was, he's trying to make these guys run as much as he possibly can. You got to shoot, guys. Come on. Move stuff. Throw it up. Five seconds. Keith Van Horn, come on, get a 40-piece. Keith Van Horn misses a shot, and that is your ball game, ladies and gentlemen. Whoa, that was too close for comfort. The Kings are your NBA champions. Anthony Edwards has done it again, of course, this time with a lot better talent on his side. Look at him yelling to the heavens. He is super psyched. He is now, I think, at least a two-time, potentially a three-time NBA champion, one-time MVP. So definitely submitting himself as one of the better players of this era. So we will see the title raised and then we will go ahead and get into the next season where he is going to leave the Kings and join the Rockets. We are here in Houston. Unfortunately, it is a year too early for T-Mac to also be with us, but we do have Yao Ming and Steve Francis. Katino Mobley is also pretty solid. So hopefully this little foursome can make some noise, but I highly doubt we're going to be challenging for an NBA title this year. Let's jump into it. All right, another ho-hum year here for Edwards, which I guess is impressive considering he continues to lead his team in scoring, but he's just not been able to get back to that MVP level and the team did not even make the playoffs. So I'll just go ahead and send him to the end of the playoffs and then we'll see which team wins. And the Golden State Warriors, a team we used to play for, they went, I think, I think this is LeBron as a rookie. As a rookie, LeBron James goes and wins an NBA championship and his finals MVP for the Golden State Warriors. You couldn't write it any better, folks. We are gonna go ahead and move on to next year. Now, here's the thing. Jackson started that season with Houston, but relatively quickly, he got traded to the Phoenix Suns. So I'm just going to jump forward to the middle of the season when he's traded to the Suns, and we'll go from there. This is going to be the penultimate season of this save, and it might be the best team we play for. Let me show you why. It is January 1st, 2005, and the Phoenix Suns have the league leading record, and they have also just signed Anthony Edwards. Damn! Damn! Remember, in Jim Jackson's career, he started this season with Houston, then he got traded to the Hornets, refused to play, got suspended, and was traded again, this time to the Suns. Fortunately for our guy, that means he ends up in a great situation because look at this squad. Anthony Edwards, Steve Nash, Amari Stoudemire, Joe Johnson, Sean Marion, Quentin Richardson. This team is loaded top to bottom. Now, do we have a great big? No, but hopefully it doesn't matter. At the very least, we have five A plus three point shooters. So we're going to shoot the lights out of this ball. Let's go ahead and jump to the playoffs and see what this team can do. Edwards is still his team's leading scorer. No big surprise there. He's averaging about 23 points a game, but three guys are averaging 20 points for this team. We are absolutely dominating. I think we won 68 games. We're going up against the Mavericks here in round number one. And look, Jamal Mashburn, very good player, but I don't think he really has a chance. Also, Glenn Robinson, he's got to be like, he's only 32. Wow, I thought that man would be so much older at this point. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and see what happens. We get the easy sweep, but things are about to get more difficult, at least on paper, because we're going up against the defending champs, the Golden State Warriors, who have second year player and reigning finals MVP, LeBron James. Oh wait, is this, yeah, this is his second year. He is an absolute monster, just like he is in real life. Hopefully we can slow the young man down just enough to win this series. I got concerned for literally no reason. They can win a game, but we make it through. Now it's time for the Nuggets. And again, this team is okay, right? Sharif Abdul-Rahim, solid player. Manu, solid player. But um, 
I mean, it's just our our sixth man is Joe Johnson. He's 87 overall. You have no shot. As expected, not even close. And now we're going up against the Pistons. Do they have a shot? Okay. Okay. So this is interesting, right? They have Kobe Bryant. They have Jermaine Reed. They have some players. Now, do they have enough to match up with us? Probably not, but there is always a chance, especially when Kobe is on your squad. So let's jump in and see how this one goes. Jumping into this one a little late here, 119 left on the clock. We have a 17 point lead, so we're definitely gonna win this series. Although I do have to say that Kobe has had Anthony Edwards' number. I think tonight Edwards has nine points. And look at that assist right there by Jelly Bean Bryant. Holy crap. All right, he's going to play good, which is great news for us. Because I'm going to go ahead and talk about this right now because we're about to be done with this. Next season, we are going to be joining the Lakers. Now, I know Kobe is playing on the Pistons, but as you've noticed, I go ahead and fix the teams for what they're supposed to be for our guy and then just let the other teams kind of go because it's just too much to keep track of. There's so many things happening each year. If I try to do it all, that would be... It, these videos would take hours and hours and hours longer than they already do to make. So hopefully you can live with it. But yeah, we are going to win this title. I think this is number four for Anthony Edwards. And next year, we're going to be joining the Lakers at midseason. Jackson did start with the Suns in the next season, but then he uh, sits out for a couple months, gets waived, and the Lakers sign him up right before the playoffs. We'll go ahead and do it at the trade deadline. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and jump to the final season of this save. Welcome to the final season of this Anthony Edwards as Jim Jackson save. We are with the Lakers. It is midseason, as I said earlier, and the team is looking okay. However, we've only won 14 games before we added Anthony Edwards, which is a bit of a surprise. We got Kobe. Of course, we got Ant. We got Lamar Odom, The Machine, McKee, Brown, Bynum. The list pretty much ends there. Smush Parker's here, I guess. The issue with this team is that... The Lakers are such wussies. The issue with this team is that three of our four best players all play the two guards. We're going to have to play with that a little bit. We might experiment with putting Anthony Edwards at the point guard position, uh, but we're going to go ahead and get to the end of the season, see if we can make it to the playoffs here in our last year. I think this is the first time it's ever happened, but Anthony Edwards is not leading his team in scoring. It is Kobe doing just that. And the great news is that this team is all the way up to the five seed after struggling quite a bit in the early parts of the season. We got the Warriors here, another solid team who have maybe the best player in basketball, LeBron James, although Gilbert Arenas did win the MVP, so I guess he is technically the best player in basketball. But yeah, I think this will be a relatively tough matchup for us. I think we have the star power to make it happen, but let's jump in and see. We find ourselves down three to two here heading into game six. Hopefully we can win this one, send it back to Golden State for game seven. But unfortunately, LeBron James is inevitable. We lose by nearly 20 points here in the final. Uh, Kobe Bryant has a decent game. I mean, they both have decent games, but Oh, but LeBron has, oh, excuse me. Wow, LeBron did not have that good of a game. I mean, almost a triple-double, not that good of a game. Scoring-wise, not that good of a game. Where Jason Richardson drops nearly 30 points to go along with three steals, and we are out of this way too early. I'm going to go ahead and send to the end of the season, see which team wins, and then it's going to be our former team, the Phoenix Suns. I guess we should have stuck with them instead of leaving at the middle of the season. And that is going to go ahead and wrap things up for this part of the video. I'm going to go ahead and sim forward until Anthony Edwards decides to retire. I will catch you back, show you what happens to the rest of his career, and then we'll get out of here. It has taken a ton of simming to finally get here. Anthony Edwards played until he was 39. He's on that LeBron grind at this point, I guess. But he has a career average of 24 points per game. Does win one MVP, 15-time All-Star, four-time champion. The Lakers basically did nothing after I stopped showing you the save. Him and Kobe stuck around the entire time, but yeah, they did not make any progress in the playoffs because they were paying those two guys a ton of money and couldn't sign any depth. As you can see several times on the all NBA and all defense list. And then here's the big one. It's that time. It's that time. That is right. Anthony Edwards is now number one on the total points in NBA history list. In this save, Michael Jordan stuck around, didn't leave and got to number two but Ant has surpassed him. Kobe, number five, and he is still playing, I believe, so he has a chance to keep going higher. But it is Anthony Edwards sitting atop the list by himself. I hope you enjoyed the final save of NBA 2K24. We'll see what next year brings us, but for now, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Thank you.